Have you ever pondered the intricate workings of extremely randomized trees in ensemble learning? Well, if so, you're in for a treat today because that's precisely the topic we are going to explore. So, what are extremely randomized trees, or extra trees as they are often called? At their core, they are a modification of the classic decision tree methodology used in machine learning. They fall under the larger umbrella of ensemble methods, which are essentially a group of models that work together to make predictions. Think of it as a team where each player brings something unique to the table, leading to a more robust overall performance. Extra trees take this concept to a different level by adding an element of randomness. The name itself suggests their primary characteristic. They are extremely randomized. The randomization occurs at each node of the tree, where a random subset of features is used to determine the best split, instead of considering all features as in the case of traditional decision trees. But that's not all. The extra trees algorithm goes a step further in its randomization process. It randomly generates a threshold for each feature to decide the best split rather than searching for the optimal threshold. This extra layer of randomness might sound a bit chaotic, but it's this very randomness that helps extra trees generalize better and avoid overfitting. Now you might be thinking, doesn't this mean that extra trees are more prone to errors due to the high level of randomness? Well, not quite. You see, an individual extra tree might indeed be less accurate due to the randomness. However, remember that extra trees are part of an ensemble. When combined with other trees, they form a forest, an extremely randomized forest, if you will. The magic of this ensemble approach is that the errors of individual trees tend to cancel each other out, resulting in a more accurate overall prediction. In summary, extremely randomized trees are a type of decision tree algorithm that injects an extra dose of randomness into the process. This randomness helps them generalize better and avoid overfitting, especially when part of an ensemble. They might seem a bit chaotic at first, but when used correctly, they can be a powerful tool in a data scientist's toolkit. So the next time you're dealing with a complex machine learning problem, consider giving extremely randomized trees a shot. You might just find that a little extra randomness is exactly what you need to make your model shine.